So Rashid is out and I hit both gold with him and platinum finally with my Jamie. And I just want to talk to y'all kind of about my journey, um, you know, hitting, going from bronze to silver to gold and then eventually to platinum, right? Because it was hard. It was hard. It was a lot of, uh, a lot of rage into it. A lot of, um, you know, I, I'm sure my table is scared of me at this point, you know, um, anytime that I log on to Street Fighter, because even when you're higher up in these ranks, you're not a robot. You're not a bot. You can have really good reactions. You can have really good like combos, everything like that. But you're human. You're still very prone to making mistakes, right? Yes, if you train, you that'll happen a lot less. But you're still very prone to making mistakes, right? Because if you didn't make a mistake, if there's no holes or gaps in your gameplay, you'd win every fight. Practically, you'd win every fight flawlessly, right? And that's not the case. That's not the case. It's not why you clicked on this. That's not the case, obviously. And I'm not saying that to, def to offend you, no. But it's the truth. Nobody is perfect. Nobody is like that. Nobody has like absolutely no gaps in their gameplay like even master players you know other master players fight other master players and lose so yeah there's gaps in everybody's gameplay it doesn't matter how how long you stay in practice mode what i'm here to talk to you about is some tips and tricks kind of uh, what i use what i did to go all the way from bronze all the way up to platinum So what I did, a lot of the time anyway, shout out to Wise, shout out to, to my uncle, man, shout out to Ronnie, like I fight them often. I really don't even play this game unless I'm playing with them or I'm playing ranked and labbing with them, having them tell me what I'm doing wrong, having them, you know, keep using the same thing on me over and over again until I finally get over it. That really does help. It's annoying, you know, for the time being. But think of it like you're playing against somebody online. They don't care how you feel. The game doesn't care how you feel about these things. You could think that DI is super annoying. You can think that DI is like the worst mechanic ever. You can think that drive rush, you know, modern controls, all of that. The truth is the game does not care. The person that is using these things against you does not care. You have to take all of that on the chin and figure out how can I beat it? You know what I'm saying? You don't want to get beat by a guy that's in the f cami booty juice group, but it happens. It happens to the best of us. Keyword, the best of us. Keywords. Anyway, next thing I want to talk about is ranked anxiety. I get this every time I queue up. And I'm platinum now. Even when I was gold, <laughs> I get this every time. And it's that feeling in your stomach. You know, that feeling where you're like, I don't know how this is going to go. I don't want to mess up. I don't want to do this. It's so many factors into it. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to perform bad. Oh, I did so good yesterday. Oh, I did so good here, 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 here. I hope I can, you know, replicate those things. You know, and you worry so much. You worry so much about how good you need to play. And, you know, you have to be a robot. You have to be perfect. Everything has to be crystal clear. Everything has to be perfect. You cannot mess up. And then you mess up more than you did last time. I know how it goes. I know how it goes. Look at that, D.I. D.I. Look at that, Kale. It sucks. It sucks. That was my Hail Mary right there. But moving forward, you know. Like I said, ranked anxiety, my recommendation for that, get some food, get some food, take a break from the game, get something to drink. You know, I recommend water or, or like tea or something like that, but it's a proven fact that when you're eating or you're, you know, doing something like that, when you're consuming like a drink or food, you're tricking your brain into thinking everything's okay. Because think about it, if something was serious, if something serious, crazy was happening, would you really be eating? You wouldn't be eating. 
you be worried about whatever is happening in the situation. You get what I'm saying? But no, you got your food. You know, you're chilling. And that's probably the mind, the mindset that you have to be in when you're playing rank. Of course, there's stakes on the line. But it's way better for you to be like, I'm chilling, you know, while you're fighting. Than be like, oh my god, I have to do this. I have to do this. I have to do that. I have to do... No. It's already enough mental stack in this game alone for you to be adding to it. You're adding stuff to it yourself, and on top of you adding stuff, there's already things that your opponent has to do, and then you have to act upon. That's too much. Just relax. If you can't relax, take a break. Do something else. Play a different game. And come back later. Go in the lab. You know, go against, because obviously you can't choose who you go against in rank, but go in the lab and be like, you know what? Mm, I don't like this character. I don't like how they play. I don't know how to beat this character. I'm going to take them into the lab. I'm going to see what they can do, what they can't do, and how my character can defeat them. Try it. It's not cheating. <laughs> it's encouraged. The game encourages it. All high players encourage it. Go watch the replays. I lost against this guy five times. Not this guy. I'm not, I'm not saying me, but I'm saying like in an example, for example, right? I lose to a guy five times. I lose to a Ken five times. Let's say I lose to a Ken. Go in the lab and see how this Ken is beating you. Look at your replay. Look at what the Ken is doing. You know, you can replicate these things in the lab. See how to punish them. See what's the best plan of action when it comes down to these things, you know? Try to change up your game plan a little bit. Learn some new tech. There's tech all over YouTube. I personally don't drop tech because I'm a new Street Fighter player. You know, my 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 first one was one of the older ones. I don't remember which one it was. But I didn't really start playing Street Fighter until like till this one. I had 5 I barely played five. I had four. I barely played four. I liked four, but I barely played it. You know what I'm saying? So this is like my first real serious Street Fighter that I'm actually even playing ranked in. I've never played. I've never even touched ranked in five. So like, you know, me, I play different fighting games. I play, I play Mortal Kombat, you know, and I'm able to hit plat. So I feel like that should give y'all some hope if you're a newer player. If you play other fighting games, don't subconsciously increase your mental stack. It's still the same premise at the end of the day of these fighting games. It's still the same premise. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Next thing I want to talk about, this is kind of what I was talking about in the last segment. Uh, last last thing I was talking about was um, character familiarity. Like this right here. Rashi just came out today. And this guy's playing modern. Now, I still will manage to get the dub out on him because I know what I know of my character and I know what's safe and I know what isn't safe. Right? Now, I don't I don't know all the combos. I don't know the best things, blah, 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 blah. Like, I don't know what the best things is against Rashid because he just came out. You know, I'm unfamiliar with this character. And that is going to happen to you a lot if you're a newer player. Once again, go into the lab. If you're unfamiliar with how this character plays, oh, shoot, well, I didn't know Rashid could do all that. I didn't know that Kimberly could do all that. I didn't know that Kent, you know, that happens often. And that can cause you to lose. But that's what the practice mode is for. The practice mode is also made for you to get familiar with your own character. Do that. You know, because there's probably moves that you're not doing. There's probably things that you are doing that are unsafe. There's probably things that, you know, all of the above, literally all of the above. I could be doing so many other things. You know, I jump too much. I blah, 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 blah. Like this is another reason why you need to watch your replays. What are you doing? What aren't you doing right there? I could have DP'd him. I didn't, you know, anytime that I caught him out of the air, I could have hit him with a DP when his character was falling down. Did I DP him? No. I did it. Am I dropping combos? Yes, I am. These things happen. 
You are not a robot. You're human. Don't beat yourself up about these things. Practice them, sure. Definitely practice them. I recommend, I highly recommend y'all practice them. But are you a robot? No. Don't kill yourself for mistakes that you made. <laughs> the game is already going to do that for you and the player that you're going against. They're already going to do that for you. Like, Look at that drop combo. Immediately punish counter. Now I'm eating damage. You see that? It happens. All right. Now, leading into pretty much the last thing that I want to talk about. Is a, a tactic, kind of. A tip. That I do. Talk to yourself. Talk to yourself about the gameplay. You know, talk about the options that you do have when your character does something. I oftentimes talk to, talk to myself when I'm playing the game. And I talk to myself and I'm saying like, okay, let's say, let's say I'm fighting right now currently in this Rashid video, right? And in this video where I'm fighting against him. I'm like, okay, when he gets close, I really just want to do my super, but I need to land something first. Or maybe I'll wait for him to mess up, right? He does DI. Thank God I didn't hit the wall there. He messes up. I hit the super. You know, you have to talk to yourself. You have to kind of go over yourself, commentate your own gameplay. That works. And it also can put you in a in a kind of a, a mindset, kind of in a, in a setting where you know what you want. And you have to make your opponent do what you want. For instance, if I'm walking back and forth near a corner, right? A lot of times, oftentimes, players are going to jump in on you. You know, they might jump in on you to start their combo. They might jump in on you because they think you're going to jump. There's there's so many factors to it, right? But if you sit back in the corner and you're like, hmm, well, I want him to come over here. So I'm just going to shimmy. You know, I'm just going to move back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Pray that he doesn't do a low because because I'm moving back and forth. I'm not going to have the time to block low. So play, pray that he doesn't do a sweep, but I'm going to move back and forth because I want him to jump at me. I really want him to jump at me so I can anti-air him because he'll die if I do that, right? Let's just say that, for instance. Let's say that he has really low health. So with that being said, you know, you shimmy back and forth, you shimmy back and forth, then they jump. What do you do? Do you anti-air them? Do you let them jump on you? Do you grab them? Do you miss your grab and you let them grab you? You know what I'm saying? There are so many things like that. But in your talking about it, you know exactly what you want. You're not just kind of going with the flow. And that's how you lose. A lot of times people don't even know that. That is how you lose, bro. You're just going with the flow of gameplay. That's not always the best choice. You have to make the opponent play your game. You know what I'm saying? You got Street Fighter for how much money? $70. Oh, you know, I bought Street Fighter for $70. I'm going to play my game. I'm not going to cater to this guy. I don't want to play the game like how he wants me to play his game. I'm going to rush him down. You see me with Jamie? I'm like, nah. She wants me to like sit back and just let her grab me. Nah, I'm on her. I'm on her. I'm on her. Boom, boom, boom. Right? Right back on her. Get my drinks in. Not letting her breathe. Don't let her breathe, you know? Nope. Don't try that on me. I'm going to do my string. You know what I'm saying? You got to make the opponent play your game. This is your game. <laughs> but uh, anyways, man, to recap, ranked anxiety, get you some food, take a break. You know, you've been playing it. You've been playing Street Fighter for two, three hours. Take a break, bro. It's two, three hours of nonstop fighting, bro. Anybody would be tired. Normal fight, like people that actually fight in real life don't even fight for that long without taking a break, dog. You know what I'm saying? Take a break. Um, Play a different game. You've been playing that long, you know. If you really, really, really don't, just don't stop, stop playing rank. Play, go play casual. Play casual. Play world tour. They got world tour for that very reason, you know what I'm saying? Like. There's so many other things you could do, you know, with the rank anxiety, get you some food, take a break. Um, you know, you need to get familiar with your characters. Go into practice mode, please. Learn what you can do. Learn what they can't do. Learn what they can do against you and nip it in a bud. 
<laughs> that works against online players. If I if I sit there and I and I beat every attack that you do, everything that you're used to, you are lost at that point. I broke your will. You're lost. You don't know what to do next because I don't I, I didn't stop everything that you've ever tried to do. Anything that you're used to doing, I've stopped it because I know how your character is or I know ex I know all the things that my character can do. So I so I broke your will. You know what I'm saying? These are the things you have to learn in this game. This game is very pronounced with learning how to punish, how to do certain things. You know, like Mortal Kombat. I'm not trying to call Mortal Kombat an easy mode game, but it's definitely easier than Street Fighter. I can tell you that much. Learning it, yes. Street Fighter will let you know, don't do that. The stove is hot. Don't touch it. You touch it, okay? You get burnt. That's how Street Fighter is. That's, not, that's my best analogy for Street Fighter. This is a recap. Get familiar with your characters. Get familiar with the people that you don't like. Look at your replays. Get some food. Take breaks. You will prevail. Trust. You will. Look, look. She slammed me. She slammed me. But jump in. W. I'm plaid. <laughs> like, yeah, man. It's just like that. Good luck to everybody on a um, home. Level up in your journey. Feel free to come back to this video and let me know how it's going. Cause you know, I'm I'm still gonna be trying. I'm literally at the base level of platinum. I'm platinum one star. <laughs> so yeah, I got got more work to do. I even got more work to do myself, you know, and I still mess up. So once again, don't beat yourself up. You got this. I believe in you. If you're trying to get out of iron to hit bronze, you got this. You're trying to get out of bronze to hit silver, you got this. Lab. Lab your stuff. Make sure you're calm, cool, and collected when you press Q. When you press to, to Q up and to rank. Make sure you're good. Not saying make sure you're Superman and, and you know you're invincible, blah blah blah. I mean, yes, would that be cool? Sure, but I don't think you're gonna get like that. <laughs> I don't even think master players are like that at all. You got this. Good luck.